We lose the player, we lose the Listen, I had a fantastic day yesterday. Everything went right. I played my best poker for years. And I finished up chip leader. And uh, today, everything went sort of pear shaped. And a new feature table in seat number one. We've seen him before. Sole survivor and Irishman Barry Donovan, 142,000, just under the average Aces, stack. Aces, Aces, <laughs> on his left, from the north, Edmund Sweeney <coughs> on a short <laughs> stack. And with the blinds going up, they'll be in a bit of trouble. On his left, George Cunningham making a return trip to this feature table. Just with an average stack. Chip leader in the tournament. He's from Finland, Santeri Valakoski, 600K. Above average stack on his left, another Finn, Jana Nivalainen, 200K plus. And on a break from the Spanish team, Francisco Torres, 285,000. <laughs> Very well-known face on the UK scene, Londoner Ross Boatman. Very, very oh, short no. stack. <laughs> and uh, Nick Perso, also from London. And uh, he'll be one of the uh, guys with a big crowd of supporters. Well, the first thing that's likely to happen at this new feature table is Ross, as the blinds go up as well, Ross Boatman going all in. 22,000, the M is one and a half. Just, Dan, I mean, is he supposed to actually look for an ace at this spot or just move them? Just move them. Uh, but an ace would be nice. And right now, folded around him, he's in the the high, the cutoff, Re sorry. 15,500. Re raise all in. And he's moved in. You would be moving here without looking. Uh, no, there's been a raise before him, Jesse. Oh, there so has. this is some class of a hand from Ross. Sorry? Well, I hope he's got an overcard for his sake. He does. The all in is. Oh my God! Wow. Twenty-two thousand total. And for Donovan, with with that other player all in, what what, what would you be doing here? <laughs> Just moving him? <laughs> well, I wouldn't be folding. <laughs> this is great news indeed for Donovan. Cool. Oh, all in. wow. That's a... oh, there's an, an, an all in, in in the big blind. This is amazing. Counts. This is like a, co a cooler. These are in 20s, huh? Yeah? Yeah. And because sort of there's been this all in from Cunningham, I mean, is Taurus actually, is he got a fold in this? Well, Cunningham's only got 42,000, Jesse, so... Uh, okay, 100. Oh, sorry. No, no, he's, he's pretty 30, big 30, here, Cunningham. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a complete cooler, but is there is there enough information for Torres to be worried about his queens here? I don't think so. I mean, if Ross is going to move in with uh, any, you know, any kind of, any class of a hand, uh, Donovan uh, certainly is, doesn't look is, like he's got two kings. Sorry, this is a tough... This, this is a tough position for the Queens. I, 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 would, I don't know what I would do in this situation. Not much point in asking you then. Call. Action back to you. He's called, and Donovan's called as well. This is amazing. Okay. A huge pot here at the moment. We have. Three players all in. Papa Torres has the most chips. We also have Ross Boatman, who has a small amount of chips. He's all in. We have one of the Paddy Parr Soul Survivors. He's all in. And we have a, a Titan Poker player. He's all in. And we're just in the process of counting chips. This could be the biggest hand of the night. Wow is right. What a cooler. Uh, <laughs> Cunningham can probably feel a little unlucky here. I mean, he, he may have had a... A much bigger decision to make with his queens uh, had Donovan played his kings uh, a little bit more in a more orthodox fashion. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Cunningham 
looking like he's drawing the livest of them all, besides the three kings, with the diamond diamond. Yes. Next card has to be a diamond. It's all over. It's all over. It is. We've just lost Ross Boatman. We've just lost, I think, George Cunningham. It's, it depends whether Donovan covers Cunningham or not. Uh, I think so. He, he no, no, we didn't. No, uh, lost another coin flip. <laughs> Torres and Cunningham are sort of splitting this side pot. And look at Donovan doing a lap on the table. How exciting! <laughs> Do you ever remember winning a pot like that, Dan? <laughs> no, I was never that lucky to be able to knock out or get three times my money or two and a half times my money at one shot. It was a good spot there, didn't I? I had no chips, you know. It's, uh, King Jack looked like a pretty good. You know, I mean, the guys raised and for a minute it looked great because it looks like uh, when he's when the other guys moved all in, it looks like it's going to go heads up and I might I've got a chance to quadruple up. But of course, it didn't work out that way. Hey, what happened? I don't know. Yeah, it was fantastic. I'm delighted. How many you got now? Yeah, about 500,000, 550,000. So it was the uh, best smooth call I ever made, I guess. The Kings, so it worked out pretty well. Well, look at the chips now. Boatman out. Uh, Cunningham nearly there. This table's going to change quickly. And Donovan. He, he must be. He must be second in chips. <laughs> All in from Mad Marty. He's counting his M's. Don't show the Don't embarrass yourself, Tom. Just put the cards in the middle. But when you missed it earlier, Marty was goading Tom uh, to, to call him when Marty had nothing and uh, Tom had a set of eyes. You know, I don't know if Marty talked himself into out of that pop, but I think in the scheme of things, he doesn't really care. He just enjoyed the joke. What did you call me? A new player to the table here. This is Steve Noteworthy, Noseworthy, from Canada. And uh, someone we've seen before back on this Tyler Bonkowski. He's quite a player. And uh, started off this day with, Pass. as one of the chip leaders, Pass. is still up there. Pass. Pass. And this is Ray. Sweeney now has limped into Bonkowski's big blind. 18,000 times. Um, and, 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 and for Sweeney, this is this is un unlikely to be a good spot, right? Against the big stack and the big blind, or uh, you know, he has the right amount of chips that he feels if he has any kind of hand, he can, he can just press the whole thing. Oh, this is this is a reasonable flop for uh, Sweeney because he has a flush king high flush draw. So he should be looking to check raise all in, basically. Okay. 23,000. Well, he's taking the deep breath part of it. Uh-oh. Oh, he's just calling. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't know. I'm not crazy. Cool. It's okay, but the, the check raise was probably very, was very strong. Yeah. And, and, and the reason, Plus. the arguments against it, are you going to, check. you're going to do a lot of these chips a lot of times? Well, the, one of the arguments against is that he might lose a pot and he might get left out of a pot that he would have won. One of the reasons for the check raise is that check. his chip stack, it's the right size. He, he's not, it's not like he's sacrificing a whole ton of things. What he's thinking is, is my king going to win a showdown hand? And there's a good chance it would. He's probably not supposed to bet here because uh, uh, the king's going to, his king five is going to win a fair number of hands on a showdown. And if he makes a bet, he needs to make a bet that's going to fold some pretty good hands, right? Yeah, but he's afraid that he's facing a pair, and a pair might be just check calling him down here. Oh, uh, well, he's what about, gonna... what about the craziness? What about actually just going all in here? Is that... <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I mean, th that six is looks like the kind of card where... 
No? Is that crazy? Yeah, well, six, the six is actually a, a good card for the defender because it cuts down the chances of you hitting a card that, that, that beats your hand. Wow. No. Cool. No way! Oh my what God. is that about? <laughs> Wait till Ty look at Tyler's face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course you called I'm me with the king nine. King nine. Or sixes with the king nine. Yeah, yeah, good I'm call, says Tyler. Well, wow. Like Edmund Sweeney looked like that was the plan. Oh my gosh. That that was I don't know what to say. No, it'd be great to see Marty go even deeper in this tournament. You know, he's a man who's given his life to the game. <laughs> but he, he does look rather interested in this, doesn't he? Yes, he does. 35,000. Come on, somebody must call. We need help. No, this is just an open all-in. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And... It's one of those days that you get now, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> What do you think? Looking at Marty here, better or worse than Ace Queen right now, or about the same? Well, I was just thinking that he must have been one of the most appropriately nicknamed poker players in history. Go on, call. He said call. He said go. I'm still. He said call. Did his lips move? Two on the trot for the small stack. Oh, there's the king. <laughs> <laughs> Another table here. Somebody's got three nines, and the ace king's in trouble. Is the ace king all in? Uh, well, oh, that's. Oh, sorry. I thought dips, it was the guy from the Band Bridge, Bridge Club. Um, very nice young man. I, I played with him on day one. He's a good crack. That's correct. Is that your table? Yeah. Yeah, he was a nice guy.